Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. Fist bump Friday. Hey. Back in the playroom. Since you, since you was such a hit. Okay. And it's me alone today. Uh, my daughters and my wife went out. And here I am doing fist bumps for you. Okay. Oh, you got to go this way. For you. All right. Uh, probably going to work till about 2 and then get out. It's just been beautiful weather. I hope you've been getting outside and enjoying it. Social distancing, staying away, but uh, get outside. It's gorgeous. We deserve it. After all that snow in May and every, everything else cruddy with Syracuse weather, it's just nice to get out. Okay. Also, Monday is Veterans Day. Don't forget to thank a veteran for their service. Uh, ones that are still with us and ones that have passed on, ones that have passed on. Maybe you could bring uh, some flowers to the gravesite. A little meditation for them. Uh, sacrificing their lives for all of us. They didn't want to be there, but they did it. And uh, just just tell them thanks in many ways. Okay? Off to the fist bumps. Okay? We got Jacob Rubenstein. Yay. And it was from Miss Corbett. Woo! Uh, Jacob, you've done a great job staying up on your work. You're awesome. Can't wait until we're all together in the building again. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Okay? Um, next we have Gino Messina. Yay, Gino. Gino, you've been working hard, staying on top of your work. Can't wait to work together again for Miss Corbett. Okay. And then Miss Corbett again for Spencer Caramana. Woo, I had Spencer for the semester. Great kid. Okay. Uh, well done, Spencer. Thanks for working hard and staying on top of all your work. Can't wait to get together. All right, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six M's in my bank account. I, it, it just set it up. I, I couldn't resist. Okay, uh, Mr. Ribzak has six fist pumps for people. Okay, here we go. Uh, Caleb Pfeiffer. Caleb has done a wonderful job on online distance learning in earth science class. He is diligent with his work and ask questions when needed. Keep it up, Caleb. Nice job. See, reach out, guys. Those who have it, there's still time to reach out. Come on. Uh, let's see. Connor, Comer, Connor has done a wonderful job in distance learning with their science. Good job, Connor. Okay. Uh, Zoe Beck. Okay. Uh, Zoe has done a great job. These are all Mr. Ribzak, by the way. Oh, he's a Boston fan. We won't hold that against him. Okay. Uh, Zoe has done a great job with online distance learning and her science. Good job. We got John Montana. Okay. He's done a great, wonderful job in distance learning and her science. Keep it up. We got Lazaro Padarza. Again, if I'm crucifying your name, I'm sorry. Uh, Laz has done a wonderful job in distance learning and her science. Woo! Okay, and then Ahmad Zato. Ahmad is uh, giving a great effort in their science on the Google Classroom. Keep up the good work. That's all of them, guys. Again, uh, keep up the good work. Thank a veteran. Stay positive. Get outside. Wash your hands. Richie loves you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yesterday afternoon, Dwight Powers, 72, was fatally stabbed while on a Zoom conference call. Powers was in Amityville, New York, when he was attacked. His son, Thomas Scully Powers, was arrested in the murder. The suspect had fled the scene and jumped out a window, experiencing minor injuries, but was caught by police in the area about an hour later. The son was hospitalized and is going to face a charge of second-degree murder. President Trump announced on Twitter last night that about $300 million is heading to New York's Metropolitan Transit Authority. This money is part of the $3.9 billion that's being distributed for New York under the coronavirus stimulus legislation. The MTA runs public transport in the state of New York. With this statement, they have received over $2 billion in federal funding. Governor Andrew Cuomo said to reporters last week that the agency is in need of funding because ridership is down and credited Trump for the payments to the state.
Oregon's four-star football signee Luke Hill was arrested on eight charges, including first-degree attempted murder. His preliminary hearing for his first trial is June 19th. On Wednesday, the NCAA Council approved of voluntary activities and workouts for football and basketball beginning June 1st. This decision makes a huge advance and a hope for a college football season. June will be a critical month for colleges. They will decide how they will deal with classes and whether or not they will have fans at the game if they end up having the season. I'm Chris with Sports.